So let's take a look at this example. This is actually one of the exercises in the book. And here it says, if P then Q, so in other words, if George is at the beach, he's getting sunburned. And if Q then P, if George is getting sunburned, then he's at the beach. Therefore P, therefore George is at the beach. So let's see if this is actually valid. So let's just start making this table here. I'm gonna make this a little bit faster than before and just show you the results. I'm gonna use the green for true and uh, red for false, so it's a little bit more visual. So here, P and Q is right here. P then Q, so the implication we already have as well, and we know that it's only false right here. And now we're going to look uh, at this other implication. So this is if, if Q then P. So here, we're looking at the opposite part. So if this is true, then this is false. If this is false, then this is true. If this is true, this is false, false, true. Uh, or sorry, false, false. So the only um, truth leading to false is right here. It's the third one. So this is the only one that will be false. Everything else in this implication will be true. Everything else will be true. So when it's false, when it's false, it's going to be true. And when it's true and true, it's going to be true as well. Now we're looking at a uh, conjunction. So it's both of them together. And th this is only true when both of them are green, which is right here. And right here, you can see right away that this is the green um, rose right here. And when you have at least one false, it's automatically going to be false. So this is our first part. And this is essentially, uh, so number one was here. Number two is here, and number three is in between them. Now we're looking at the last part, and this is the last implication, number four. So this big chunk, if this, then P. So I'm not gonna rewrite this because I don't have space here. I'm just gonna write three little dots. Uh, and if this leads to P, if this, then P. So now we're looking at implication between uh, this column which is going to be right here, and this column, which is right here. Now for implications, we know right away that it's, if it starts with false, it's going to be true. So I can put true here, and I can put true right here, uh, because this already starts with false. These two start with true, so I have to look at them. So if true here, then true here, that's true. And the last one, if true here, then false here, and this will give us false. Now, because of this one false, this whole thing is going to be invalid argument. This is an invalid argument. So this cannot be valid. And essentially, this is how you do um, valid arguments and how you, uh, how you use um, these tables and logic specifically to try to solve them. Hopefully, this was a little bit more clear. This was an example from, from page 251, and this was exercise two. I think this was the last question, actually. And essentially, all of these questions have to be done this way. Okay, hopefully you remember this. And just remember that you need to try to memorize the implications and the conjunctions so that you can do this much faster. Thank you for watching and good luck to you. Bye-bye.